Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star silver character gameplay preview video. And today, we're kicking off the new Zombies MLC and we got the all new Drew McIntyre, the, the Slaw? Is it the Slaw or the Slog? I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not Scottish. Um, if it's the Slaw... Kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to try to make a cheesy joke because I got nothing. But uh, he looks pretty awesome there. And he will be your free-to-play uh, character for the MLC. So let's take a look inside the poster. He is a trainer. Purple Gems will do up to 2,200 more damage at 9K. He's got the Zombies Link, 20% more health. And when we look at his moves, the Glasgow Kiss is the 4-star move and the Claymore Kick is the 5-star move. So let's take a look at the first move set we're going to run today. It's a 3-star move set. We got double green moves. We got the Spinning Future Shock, 8 charge, deal 29,000 damage, and make 5 random gems into black gems. Then we got the Big Boot, 8 charge, deal 33,000 damage, and choose 5 gems to make into power gems of 24,000. Now we got the Future Shock DDT Black 11 Charge Finisher deal 70,000 damage and swap a 6x1 random area to green. So it recycles a bit, makes some power gems, will hit a little hard, and um, yeah. Now I got a 50k flat green move damage on there, but takedown is the only thing I had available. So I got a takedown set on, and then I'm running uh, Fury on the other set. So it's all offense. <clears throat> And we're going to go out here on the road against Zombie Undertaker. Zombies versus Zombies here. And let's see how Drew fares. Alright, so we still got some tour perks active. So we're going to turn one this ish. And we're going to select some power gems. I'm just going to take this column over here. It looks kind of random. Bada boom. Hopefully we get something to break off of these nine rounds. I didn't even show you my, uh, I didn't even show you my entourage. I showed you the strap and not the entourage. Silly me. All right, entourage. I got steel on there for green moves. Start with more points. I got Titus for moves that generate black gems will create four more. I got Lacey for green and purple gem damage, and Hall of Fame Nikki for power gem uh, buff. So, that's where we're at on that. Sorry about that one. Now, do I take the black match? Yeah, I better. Two hundred eleven thousand there. Not a not a bad little shot with the power gems out. Let's see what this finisher's all about now. Swap a six by one. With all that, 258. Not awful. Could be better. But our green moves are recycled and we're ready to strike once again. And every time you strike again, you got more power gems and you will hit harder. Fine, get some on the other side. Nine random black. Hopefully we get a match out of this one. And bop! Oof. 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 A nice shot right there. 400 and some thousand. And that might be it for Zombie Taker. Ooh, he gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right. Move set one in the books. Three star move set looking good. And I'll be right back with a four star move set. Okay, we're back with a four-star moveset here. Uh, we did a full swap out. Now, we got the Bite, nine charge black, deal 47,000 damage again, seven yellow MP. Then we got double yellow moves, the overhead belly to belly, eight charge, deal 24,000 damage and make seven random purple into black. Then we got the Glasgow Kiss, the seven charge yellow, deal 33,000 damage and choose a four by two area to swap to black gems. So that'll recycle the Bite. The Bite will fill up your yellow MP. You do it all over again. Looking pretty good there. So I got Kofi on here for yellow move uh, points. I got Duder for 35% more black gem damage, which I did some math and it's going to be more 
damage that way than it is if you use uh, King Nakamura maxed out even. I got Montez Ford for black moves, deal 10% more damage. We'll need that in the next set more. And I left Lacey on there for the purple and black gem damage. I also went through the title and I got a yellow move damage medal on there. It's only level 12, so it's not quite as strong as we had for the first set. But I'm still running takedown armor, so... You gotta work with what you have there. And we're gonna try this one more time. Hopefully this works as well as the first move set did. It looks like it's gonna work pretty decent. So let's go ahead, 61,000 makes seven purple into black. Now I don't want this to cascade. I just wanna do that damage. And then I want this one to fill up the black move. Bah! Oh, big time headbutt. So now we can choose this area. This should be some heavy damage here. Striker choosing black area should be big damage. 314,000, not bad. Ooh, the bite, and there we go. We fill these back up. Let's go seven purple to black. Problem is, he's filled this time, so... I don't know how well this is gonna go. And I think I screwed up my medals when I set them. I don't think I have my bonuses on, but, uh... Because I forgot I was running Fury takedown, not armor takedown. So I think I have takedown set still, but I don't think I have a second uh, buff. Another 300k, and all the moves are full again. So, uh, this is a Recycle King right here, I'll tell you that. Let's just see if we can kick out here. Oh, he didn't do the Trap Gems first, what a dummy. I'm glad the AI is not good. doesn't matter guess he didn't need to do the moves in the right order because apparently when you're the AI you can just cascade whatever you want all right we're out chump all right let's get our Let's get our let's get our groove back here. That ah, my my cascade. So far so good. Oh, big headbutt. I like this set, um, and it's a four star move set. And I'm gonna tell you, at the four star level, this move set would be super dangerous. But when the health gets up to be this much, I don't know. Because, I mean, you can make this hit hard at 4-star even, but once you get up in these 5-star levels, you gotta, you gotta hit your move so many times that it's just not ideal. You'll take some damage, but, I mean, you might still get the win. Like, I'm still looking to get the win here, but you just gotta take some damage to do it at this point because you'll have to hit your move so many times. I think that's it. 317 there. All right, so that one's looking pretty good, too. We'll have one more move set to check out. We'll see what he can do at the five-star level. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So the five-star move is the Claymore Kick. It's uh, five charge, deal 16,000 damage, and destroy two random black gems. Um, and I'm going to pair that with the Future Shock DDT. We had the original finisher and the spinning Future Shock. So we're going to make random black gems. We're going to make an area into green, and then we're going to destroy Black Gems. So we're going to start this one with Bray and Brawn here, the Wyatt family. So Bray starts with more Black Move points. Brawn will destroy more Black Gems. Montez will add Black Move damage and destroy another Black Gem. Lacey still just for purple and green move damage. Um, I did get my title fixed back up this time, and I got a level 12 uh, flat. 
uh, black move damage metal on there. So we'll do an extra 30,000 on those. So the trick with this one to me is the five star black move there should be able to recycle itself. As long as there's five black gems on the board, you can hit it over and over again. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, and then once you have to hit your finisher, it'll charge the green move. The green move will throw black gems back on the board so you can start this over again. That's my plan. So 55,000 damage and we'll destroy eight black gems. That's going to be enough to fill both of these. All right. There would be only two here. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the finisher here. It does more damage. It'll fill my green. Plus, I know this will cascade and then I'll have to pin him anyways. So... I want to do this. That way the green move can give me more black gems on the board to hit the other black move again. I think this move set's going to work out pretty decent. Dang. Dude didn't even want to kick out. Come on. With the wild cards. Always with the wild cards. Alright, now we're going to have to take one of them big bops from him. Not, oh, one, two, three, four, five black on the board now. I'm going to go ahead and hit this and get them five black. At the risk of that. Now there's no black gems for this to destroy. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the spinning future shock. And I'm going to put five black gems on the board. Now I can hit this again. And destroy them five black gems. And now I can go ahead and hit my finisher again. So not the best but uh, move set here, but it's kind of fun. I think that the power gems is going to be the best setup, the three star move set. Um, and you could probably use this move here to, uh, make your power gem damage go off more too, but I wanted to recycle with this. Uh, if you didn't have your finisher on, there would be no way to recycle the green for that. So I feel like you'd have to have a lucky board. If you were going to use the power gem move, the other green move, then, uh, swap this one in for the finisher. I definitely feel like there would be a lot of luck involved with that. Okay, there's only three out there now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the green move. Just make sure we can get maximum out of this. Oh, we got a board shuffle. With some uh, better metals and some skill plates on, too, uh, he'd be definitely hitting a lot better. But I'm going to say, just off the start, uh, he plays pretty well. Like, I'm glad all them trap gems went out while we were in the cover there, too. I'm not upset about the free character here. I'll tell you that. How's he still got so many left? That's what I want to know. How many, how many trap gems did he put out there? All right, there's only three black gems on the board, but we only needed one to hit the finisher. Okay, five random into black. Bow! All 
Now we can destroy a random black. That should be enough to fill the finisher, and this should be it. And that's it, Future Shock DDT. Now, I'm sure there was another move set where you could use that five star move to trigger the power gems or whatever. But like I said, I didn't see how we were going to recycle green with that. Now, do I put the power gem move instead of this green move? And then just rely on only black gems on the board? I feel like this combination of the moves at least allowed me to ensure that I was going to recycle. Um, anything else would have been depending on board luck. So if I use the power gem move instead of that green move, uh, you're going to be relying on black gems on the board to destroy with that move to keep filling. Although it would trigger the power gems multiple times in a turn. Or... On the flip side, if you use the destroy black gems move in place of the finisher, um, I don't know. I guess that would have been. I guess that would work too. Um, let's just try that. Now that I'm talking it out, I feel like that one uh, it might be decent. So. So if I put this move in instead of the finisher. Well, yeah, because see, then there's nothing to, because this makes uh, black gems, this destroys black gems. There's nothing to refill the green moves then. So if you got no green on the board, you're stuck. You're absolutely stuck. So that's why I didn't go with that. And um, somebody else, I'm sure, will try it. And maybe they'll make it look great. But I'm telling you, uh, it's not going to be great all of the time. It's definitely going to be board dependent. I wanted to not be board dependent with my sets there. And I thought I did a pretty good job. So uh, let me know what you think of Drew McIntyre in the comments section below. And uh, I'll see you tonight for some tailing up. And until next time, y'all. <laughs>